What is up you guys? It's Tim here. And we have another tutorial here for you at Divine Designs Media. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make some swatches or and create a new group and save the swatches in there. So once you have Adobe Illustrator opened up, just click uh, New. And once you have New clicked and it pops up, I'm going to go to Profile Web. I'm going to save these swatches specifically for the web. And you can label it if you want. It so, uh, doesn't really matter. Tim's swatches. My name is Tim. I'm just going to hit enter. OK. And then from there, <clears throat> I'm going to import an image by holding Command Shift P to place. And I have my image on my desktop. And for those of you who are on a PC, I believe it is Control Shift P to place. And then select an image you'd like to bring in because I want to use the colors off of this image and save them as in my swatches panel. So now that I have my image, I resized it. I'm going to keep that there. And you can either click M or select your rectangle box. And now that I have it selected, I am going to choose no fill. And I have my white box. I'm going to click I, which is the eyedropper tool shortcut key and I'm going to click on this blue sky I'm going to select it with by hitting B selecting my box and holding alt and duplicating it alt shift to to directly move it down and then I'm going to hold command D to copy it a few times and control D for those of you who are on PC now that I have that selected I have I'm going to select my second swatch Hit I for the eyedropper tool, <clears throat> change the color, do the same thing again, and once you have your desired colors, you can proceed. We will proceed. So now that we have that, I am going to window and then swatches. I'm going to rip that off real quick. I'm going to minimize that. And now we have our swatches panel and our colors. So to create our swatches group, select all the colors you wish to have and then click on this new color group and from there you can create from the selected artwork or selected swatches just I would leave it as is and you can name your group so I name my file Tim's swatches so I'm going to do the same here hit enter or OK and then from there as you can see you have your swatches right there so the thing about this is if you go to file new and create a new file, Tim's other swatches. I'm going to hit OK. Notice they're not there, but they are on this file. So what you need to do is save your swatches if you wish to use them for further use. So click on this icon in the bottom left-hand corner, which is the Swatch Libraries menu, and go to Save Swatches. And once you have saved these swatches, it will take you directly to the directory of the program you have downloaded which is Adobe Illustrator and that's the location of where the swatches are and then I'm just gonna click Tim swatches click save they are now saved so when I go to open up create a new file whoops go here I'm gonna click on my libraries menu and I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to user defined and Tim swatches notice that pops up my four desired colors for my swatches. So that was, mm, I'm not done with this tutorial. There's also another way to throw swatches in there. If you don't want to create a group, you could also go to swatches again and uh, single-handedly drag and drop a swatch in there. But whoops, I didn't know. not what I wanted to do. <laughs> so I have my Okay, this is not working. What the hell is going on? Okay, so I have my swatches. I'm going to drag and drop. So, had an issue here. I had my swatches panel floating in my window, and as I as I would drag, it wasn't popping up. But now that it is, you can just hover over your swatches panel and drop, and you'll now have your desired color, your pattern swatch. And you can do the same for these as well. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helped you. Please uh, 
let me know if any feedback and if you want more tutorials um, feel free to subscribe if this helped um, thanks for watching again and have a good one